In a lush green valley nestled between two great mountain ranges, there stood a grand castle surrounded by a vast enchanted forest. Within the castle lived a curious little princess named Rose. Unlike other princesses who spent their days sewing gowns or practicing etiquette, Princess Rose much preferred exploring the outdoors and discovering magic among nature's beauty. On the edge of the forest, close enough to see the gleaming spires yet immersed in the wilderness, grew a magnificent silver tree unlike any other. Its leaves were delicate and bright, casting soft light across the surrounding area. Atop the tallest branch rested a brilliant horned horsia radiant unicorn called Lumina. Every sunrise, Princess Rose would gaze upon Lumina from her bedroom window and wish desperately to meet the mythical creature. One fateful morning, determined to make her dream come true. She packed some bread and cheese before sneaking away from the castle guards. Carefully navigating the pathways leading deeper into the woods, she finally arrived beneath the stunning silver tree. To her surprise, Lumina greeted her warmly. They shared stories until the late afternoon when suddenly the ground trembled violently. From afar emerged a group of grumpy dwarfs led by King Grumble, whose crown sat precariously on his tangled beard. Their pickaxes slung over shoulders, they approached the silver tree with ill intent. King Grumble bellowed, This tree belongs to me. I will claim its precious metal for myself, fearful for her new companion and the forest inhabitants. Princess Rose summoned up her courage and addressed the angry king. Please reconsider your actions. Our forests are alive because of this tree. Together, we shall find another source of wealth without harming such splendor. Haughtily, he replied, why should I trust a mere child? Lumina interjected gently but firmly, because sometimes the smallest voices hold the wisest hearts. Impressed by their conviction, King Grumble reluctantly conceded. Together, they embarked on a different mission, locating gems buried deep within nearby hills. When nightfall descended, laughter echoed through the clearing as everyone feasted under the stars. Even the surly dwarfs were smiles instead of scowls. Years passed since that memorable summer evening. Friendships blossomed amongst former enemies, fostered by mutual understanding and appreciation. New traditions took root, including annual gatherings celebrating unity under the silver tree. Eventually, word spread beyond the valley, drawing visitors eager to witness the spectacle firsthand. Among the crowd gathered for the festivities, whispers circulated. Regarding a rare event happening that very night the appearance of Stardust Falls, which cascaded pure starlight onto the unsuspecting world below. Although skeptics dismissed the rumor as folklore, curiosity drove countless souls towards the gathering spot. Underneath the silver tree adorned with colorful ribbons and lanterns, Thousands waited anxiously. Suddenly, the sky rippled, giving birth to ethereal water droplets reflecting cosmic energy. Gasps turned to cheers as the phenomenon unfolded above them. Peace settled across the scene, binding everyone present in harmonious wonderment. When dawn broke, remnants of the celestial shower still clung stubbornly to branches and leaves creating a mesmerizing display. Witnessing the miracle affirmed everyone's belief in the extraordinary bond formed between humans, animals, and nature itself. With tear-filled eyes, Princess Rose thanked Lumina for introducing her to such profound experiences. Hand in hoof, they watched as the final specks of Stardust dissipated slowly, returning to their heavenly origins. Before parting ways, Lumina whispered meaningfully, Remember, dearest Rose, magic exists wherever hope resides. Good night, my dear listener. May dreams bring joy 
and morning greet us with optimism. Let your imagination roam free tonight, seeking solace in the knowledge that even the smallest voice holds immense potential. Remember, too, that goodness often prevails when united in purpose. Until next time, good night, sweet dreams.